I just had this epiphany and another perspective why we feel like we are missing out on things. And I would like to share this with you. If we feel like we need to do something out of urgency or to get it done or to please someone and then we do it out of fear then indeed we are going to miss out on the miracles and those situations when we can experience that we don't have to do anything we don't want to because in reality the momentum always comes when we can actually enjoy that activity or whatever we are talking about. So the sense of missing out on something and the regret, sadness and anger that's coming from this is actually coming from these situations when we created contexts and circumstances where we were forced to do something or we forced ourselves to do something that we didn't want. So this is a form of violence. But we have to own our creative power and see that as infinite divine beings we wanted to experience this as part of the human experience. I know that all of this goes so deep and that some beings created exigencies that can take years to unwind from because I was one of them and I am talking about this right now after years of spiritual practice and energetical unwinding from life circumstances like this I arrived to this point by following my heart and the joyful inspirations and when exigencies were showing up again and again I kept turning my focus on the things I was able to change my way of thinking and the seemingly little practical ordinary things So the question is, how can we reverse this? How can we let this sadness, this regret that is coming from these traumatic experiences be healed? Next time, when we feel like we have to do something and we remember this way of thinking that is based on something, that does not reflect the truth of who we really are. We can choose again. We can choose to not act on the compulsive impulses. When we provide the space for ourselves to wait for the authentic inspiration a miracle can happen, a miracle that shows us that we don't have to do anything we don't want to. So this is what has been coming up for me lately. This sadness and regret that I have been missing out on things. But it is mostly a feeling, and usually 
I cannot pinpoint it on specific things in the past. However, this has been showing up in seemingly small ways right now, so I can get in touch with this feeling that I haven't released from my being yet. And now I can look at it again. For example, during my walk, those magical deers were running nearby in front of me. And I was in the middle of a conversation, so I was not able to record that beauty. And I'm not even saying that I didn't want to be in that conversation because I was not in it out of people-pleasing. But a lot of times I have to choose. Do I want this or that? So it seems like it doesn't matter what I choose. I am going to feel like I miss out on something. Because I wanted both things. This specific case just reflects back to me that out of my creative power I have chosen to create this quality of feeling. The sadness and regret. Because somewhere deep within I insist that missing out on something is possible and true. And this choice is showing up in this tangible form related to the deers and the conversation. I feel that the only way to move through this is transcendence. To see that it is a question of timing and that there is a context which is more suitable and more helpful to have that desired experience. Out of divine love, it will be orchestrated, because we can't miss out on anything we truly desire. Out of the pain of this feeling that we missed out on something, we are going to create a helpful experience so we can see the truth of it. Whether it was a genuine desire from the heart or just an addiction, an attachment to form ideas about joy, freedom, peace or an attachment to certain people. So there is no other way than to create a context for the healing of this painful feeling. And if we look at it this way, then there is a sense of hope and trust that is returning. And there is an innocent curiosity how all of this is going to unfold and how what we truly want from the essence of our being is going to be embodied through our desire and intention. I wish this for you, dear one, so you can create a context like this, so you can heal the pain of this false perception and perspective and you can transform it into something that expresses and extends the good, the holy and the beautiful. <laughs>